What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Back with another episode of Live Tips so that you can make your workflow mimic what you like out of FL Studio. Right here, I have some chords, so I'm going to show you how you can strum these chords. I'm going to go over to MIDI Effects, and we're going to grab an arpeggiator. Now, that's not strumming, of course, so we need to follow these steps in order to get it to work. Let's turn sync off. We'll bring the rate up a little bit. And here where it says repeats, we're gonna bring it up to one. Now you hear it's only playing once. Now the only issue with this is that our notes aren't being held out anymore. So we're just gonna grab a note length device drag out our length and you can change the style that is strummed what I would do is save this as a rack and name it strum so that you can use it later on Just map whatever you want to map to the macros. So, for example, you might want to get this rate on here and the length on here. So you have them. So I'll just hit map. And I'll get macro 1 going to rate. And then I'll get the length going to macro 2. And you can go on and add more devices as you choose. And just have fun with it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down in the comment section. Let me know what you would like to see next. Any features you think uh, live is missing, I might be able to find a workaround for you. Let me know until we get a new live update. I got your back. It's all culture. Kick back and cook up.